Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see one more concept in operating system that is system protection in operating system. So in our previous sessions, we have seen about the files concept, a file system structure, as well as file allocation methods, as well as file uh, accessing methods. So in today's session, we'll see the about the system protection, right? So without delay, let us start. System protection. So here a protection means giving a security. So to what we are giving this protection? So one thing, the data process and very important thing is a resource, right? So this system protection is a process of providing security to data, a process or the resources used by the users okay here the security means to uh, provide unauthorized i mean authorized access only so that means we can simply say it as a access control access control so access control on data process or the resources okay avoiding the unauthorized access so that we call it as a system protection so here the system includes the data process as well as the resource now what are the different goals of system protection so the first goal is to prevent very important to prevent misuse of resources resources so every process will be using a lot of resources so we, the, this one major goal of uh, system production means to prevent the misuse of the resources so to prevent from the unauthorized access and the next one see this is a very one more important access control so access controls means unauthorized access so accessing of data or resources etc etc and the next one system reliability what is the system reliability means it prevents the errors okay from crashing the system okay so it prevents errors from system crashes so whenever the system crashes whatever the error we may expect that will be prevented system crashes and the next one security and protection security and protection so security and protection means so uh, access access uh, to data is restricted from one user to another user okay one user can't be able to use the data of another user so, so that kind of uh, security and protection will be given for the data so this is a one more uh, goal of system protection okay then We'll see what are the different mechanisms. What are the different mechanisms used in this system protection? So system protection mechanisms. Mechanisms. So the first one is authentication. So every user how to authenticate himself or herself. So this usually done with the help of passwords. Passwords 
or some biometric information, whatever it may be. So passwords, the login passwords. In the next one, authorization. Authorization. So that means verifying the user. Okay. So the person have to verify himself or herself. So verifying the so verifying user to access so what what access will be done so access may be on data or resource etc etc and then so the one of the goal that is access control access control means preventing the unauthorized access so preventing unauthorized access okay preventing from unauthorized access so the next one file permissions so coming to restrictions on data so file permissions will be given so in linux for example in linux we are having ch mod command which gives the permissions or privileges to the users okay so who can be accessing the files so this kind of thing so we can restrict the access on data okay next memory protection memory protection so which is uh, restriction on memory usage restriction on memory usage or memory access so there will be restriction on upon uh, accessing the memory okay that's a memory protection similarly i'm erasing this one similarly the next one is a cpu protection so in this cpu protection so it will be prevented from uh, unidentical cpu usage that means um, continuous usage of cpu okay efficient usage of cpu so uh, it avoids or it gives interruptions okay simply we can say it gives the interruptions interruptions to avoid continuous usage of cpu Okay, infinite usage of CPU, so we can use some interruptions, the timing interruptions like that. And then the next one is IO protection. So here also it will restrict on IO access, so which may prevent the hardware damage. So if you are not using the input and output uh, operations uh, uh, carefully, that may lead to the hardware damage. So it prevents the hardware damage. It prevents hardware damage. Okay, so efficient use of IO protection. Simply we can say efficient use of IO protection. And the next one is an encryption. This is also most important. Encryption. So encryption means so protecting data. Protecting data. Okay, by encrypt by encrypting the data by encryptions, by encrypting the data. So what is meant by encryption means? So it will convert the readable format into unreadable format. So that kind of protection will be given for data in order to avoid unauthorized access. So these are the system protection mechanisms: authentication, authorization, access control, file permissions memory protection cpu protection io protection and uh, encryptions right yes so now uh, we will see what are the different types of uh, security protections that that has been given right so types of protections types of protections the first one hardware protection hardware protection 
so it will use a different uh, registers okay so uh, memory restrictions of memory or uh, previously we have seen uh, io etc etc will be taken in order to avoid this uh, uh, unauthorized access or damage of hardware okay damage of hardware mainly a damage of hardware similarly the next one is a software protection software protection so for this software protection so obviously we will be using the firewalls firewalls to protect okay similarly network protection so protecting the network so here also we will be using firewalls because so it will control the incoming and outgoing packets from the network so firewalls as well as some intrusion detections intrusion detections so by with the mean, uh, means of these things we can protect the network as well as the last uh, but not of the least the application protection application protections so that means uh, protecting the different kinds of applications okay so different kinds of applications uh, uh, similarly here also we will be using some antivirus etc okay protecting uh, the applications so these are the different types of protections given in the system protection so once again the system protection is a process of providing security to data process or resources used by the users so here the the word called security mean the access control so who will be accessing the files okay the privileges given for the users so not every file should be shared among the different users so there should be some privileges or some access permissions for the data as well as the resources that's the most important right so hope you understood about uh, system protection let's stop here and if you really enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much